All right, now I know this is not my normal recording setup for the Orion constellation, but one, it's windy outside, and two, f Rigel. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Solar System, where we help you understand the system your soul goes into. This is Moon Days of Michael. I'm your host, Laura Tango Michael, and I am cutting out the esoteric middleman, giving you the tools you need to connect yourself right to the source. All right, guys, as you may have noticed from the intro and the title of this video, it's time to start talking about Rigel, the left ankle of the Orion constellation, and my least favorite part of the Orion constellation. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> so we're going to start hopping into talking about its influence, its physical placements, its orb, and what its influence is all about. So without any further ado, Rigel can be found in 17 degrees of Gemini, and it has an orb of 240, just like Betelgeuse. Now its nature is that of Mars and Jupiter, and this will make sense when we actually start talking about Rigel's influence. Now, what is Rigel's influence? Well, Rigel has to do with basically what the Orion constellation is, right? It's war, but the main thing is that it's not just like war in general like the Orion constellation. Rigel's very connected to like the original purpose of the Orion constellation and the being that created it, the Archangel Michael, me. Its main influence and desire has to do with the war on Lucifer. So it will kind of go out and attack anyone and anything that it deems is being very Luciferian. And this can get Rigel in a lot of trouble. Procyon Wars over there. If you know anything about the Procyon Wars, you know what Rigel did. But we're not going to talk about that too much in this video. Now, Rigel is like the younger sibling or little brother of the Orion constellation, where it shines the brightest, has all the attention, you know, pushed towards it, and draws the most attention. And this can lead things to get kind of out of hand very quickly. Because it's like, you know, the younger sibling, the one that gets all the attention, kind of gets whatever they want, doesn't really get in trouble too much and can kind of dial things up to, you know, 11 when it's not really necessary, which is what it did in the Procyon Wars. Now, Rigel is very true to its mission in the war on Lucifer, right? And this is how it got into trouble with Procyon, is that Sirius kind of was like, oh, look at Luke Procyon, they're being very Luciferian. And Rigel didn't ask too many questions and just went to, you know, war with Procyon with Sirius. And this is what got Rigel in trouble with, you know, the Royal Archangel Michael, is because Procyon wasn't being Luciferian, and Rigel was just kind of jumping to conclusions as it do, you know. You have your influence, your mission, and you kind of just go with it, which is what makes this very Mars and Jupiterian in its influence. It's the hit first, ask questions later kind of thing, where Rigel sees someone being Luciferian, and it just goes for it. Ask questions later, deal with the consequences later, and this is the very little brother energy. The little sibling always one kind of rushing into new experiences, even when it's not supposed to, getting in trouble, and then having to deal with the consequences later. Or, you know, if their parents are a little bit, you know, show too much favoritism to that child, they won't face any consequences at all. But that's pretty much Rigel's influence, so let's talk about its physical placement a little bit more, right? Rigel has to do with war, the war on Lucifer kind of jumps to conclusions a little bit, gets ahead of itself, but, you know, it's just trying to do what it's got to do. But its physical placement is the left ankle, or the, you know, the left foot of the Orion constellation. And why is that? Well, if you think about it, what is your feet in this realm? Your feet actually are your root chakra. It's the grounding. It is what connects you to your higher self in a way, right? It's your 12th house. So it's the connection to your, your dreams, illusions, right? Your spirit. And this is why Rigel is in the left foot, right? Because it is the connection to the War on Lucifer aspect, which is why the Orion constellation was created in the first place, right? Now, Rigel isn't exactly playing out the duties and obligations of the Royal Triangle Michael, because if it was, it would have thought twice before it attacked Procyon, but, you know, little kid energy, what can I say? Alright, hey guys, what's going on? So as we transition into this asteroid field, let's treat it like it is. In a field of thoughts that we are going to bounce around based off the initial topic that we started out with this video, right? So let's talk about a couple ideas with Rigel. So as we know, Rigel is the left ankle of Orion, and it is actually the stability that Orion finds in its natural hunting state, right? So with this being stability, this is more along the Taurus side of what Rigel is, where it's always seeking and having stability in regards to its goals, which is hunting and seeking and executing in a way that angles the dynamicness of its natural space, which is in Gemini. However, with it being the actual base of the Orion constellation, it focuses on stability and actually having ground with what it seeks. So with this being hunting and seeking, usually this typically deals with supplies, structure, wealth, and actual things that can support you in surviving, right? So with this being the case, Rigel is actually a very fortunate sign to have, a very useful sign to have. And you may notice that any native of this 
actual fixed star and angling it in whatever house you may actually have or whatever star or celestial body you may actually have is based in having natural wealth, being very wealthy, finding riches easily and actually integrating itself into a stable setting dealing with you know values and actually acquiring what it seeks right because if you know any person that actually has rigel they can't bear to be caught lacking in a sense and not having what they seek they always find a way to get to their achievements even if it's a little shysty and a little scrappy as we may have mentioned before they kind of were hating on and a little hasty when attacking procyon now, even though the star may be seen as an honorable star, that is only to some, because remember, this is still the lower chakras of Orion, so even though it stands on honor, its actions may not always be as honorable when achieving these actual fortune and wealth and, you know, more of a benevolent means of living. On top of that, and what actually leads them into being so fortunate and having a lot of honors, riches, happiness, and glory in their space, these people are quite inventive and mechanically inclined. So even if it is a mental mechanism, or a thought-based mechanism, or even a feeling mechanism, these people will find a way to create some type of machine or routine or process that they can actually copy and paste regarding whatever they want to support themselves in. So essentially, that's Rigel for you. They're fortunate useful and despite their questionable honor although it may list that they can be quite helpful now back to you ryan i mean yeah that's pretty much it anyways uh if you guys would like to request a chart email us at reading at solar systems.org and if you want to keep up to date with the daily alignments go ahead and check over on our instagram where we're posting every day's energy every day on the daily so you know what kind of energy is going on for that day daily alignments what can i say anyways uh next time in the orion constellation we're going to be talking about the head of the Orion constellation, the fixed star Mesa, Misa, Misa, Mesa, text, you know, star, Arabic names, French names, I don't know, stars. Anyway, uh, there's a baby crying outside, I gotta go. Anyways, fly high, y'all.